Ubunifu wa ndani ni swala tata. Keti anaeleza hatua ambazo zinahusika kutekeleza kazi yao. First of all, anatafuta the piece of land. Pali atajenga ile nyumba sio. Alafu cha pili ni anaenda anununua ile kutoka you know, Ministry of Lands ni nini anaweza kununua lile shamba. Kisha anunua shamba basi anatafuta mchora la mani. Kushaona, mchora la mani ni architect mbunifu ambaye anachora ile nyumba iwe ni ya, ya makazi iwe ni nyumba ya kufanyia kazi kama hii ya biashara ile nyumba ikisachorwa wanatafuta contractor shauna contractor wanakuja wanajenga ile nyumba wakati wanamalizia basi sasa mwenye nyumba huwa anafanya decision ya kwamba hii nyumba yangu nataka kuitumia kwa kazi fulani nataka iwe benki nataka iwe ofisi nataka iwe nyumba yangu ya kuishi ama nataka iwe nyumba ya kufanyia biashara supermarket eh, you know sasa wakati anafanya hiyo decision au uamuzi ndio sasa anatuita ana, ana sisi tunafanya mazungumzo na mwenye nyumba Vil, zile vitu ambavyo anataka kuweka pale basi sisi tunaenda tuna eh, pima ile area that space nafu tunaenda kwenye tools ambazo tuko nazo kwa tarakilishi zetu tunaiweka pale alafu tuna tunafanya kitu ambacho tunakiita space planning yeah space planning ni kugawa ile nyumba kubwa into smaller usable spaces Uki take, ukiangalia vile ile nyumba itatumika sasa tukishafanya hivi tunapeleka huyu huu mchoro tunaupeleka kwa au masoro vea wa kiwango wanaweza kutuambia hichi ambacho mmetengeneza kitafanywa na pesa fulani sasa ule mteja ndio anatuambia kwamba kama hivyo hizo pesa ambavyo soro vea wa kiwango wamepeana kama budget yake iko pale ushaona sasa tukishafanya hivyo eh, kazi inaenda to the other stage which is sasa kujengo implementation tunatafuta subcontractors ama contractor wanakuja wanafanya ile. Wakati kazi inafanyika sisi tunakuwa kama wasimamizi. Mwishowe kazi ikiisha tunaenda through pamoja na mwenye nyumba, mama mwenye ile space, mwenye ile ofisi kuhakikisha kwamba vile vitu ambavyo tuliweka kwenye mchoro wetu vimefanyika kulingana na vile tulivyokubaliana. Alafu mtu anapata space yake, anaanza biashara yake ama ana, anaikodisha hayo anaweza kuendeleza na biashara yake Ni ngumu kufanya kazi ya ubuni wa ndani ukiwa peke yako. Wawekezaji wengi hutafuta wafanyikazi wa kutekeleza hatua tofauti ambazo zinahitajika kwa kazi hii. Lakini tofauti na waajiri wengi, Keti hakusumbuka akitafuta wafanyikazi. Nianza na interns eh, wawili na walikuwa eh, wanafunzi wangu kwa sasa eh, kampuni yetu A Plus Interiors Limited tuko na wa full time wale watu tumeajiri full time ni watu sita a total of six um, wengi wa hawa ni wachoraji ni wale eh, wanafunzi wangu kutoka chuo kikuu shaona then tuko na mfanya hesabu mmoja accountant tuko na dereva mmoja na marketing personnel mtu wa kufanya uh, sales and marketing mmoja au sasa ni direct wale watu tunaweza tumeajiri directly kuna watu tumeajiri indirectly so na wakati kazi inafanyika ya ujenzi kuna maseremala kuna wajenzi wapakaji rangi kuna watu wengi sana ambao wanakuwa employed indirectly Keti anatueleza kwamba kuna ujuzi fulani unahitajika kutekeleza kazi yao ipasavyo. Mtu anafaa awe na shahada ni degree na pia diploma unaweza kuingia uanzie pale you can study the diploma in interior design. Katika sekta yoyote ni vema kukiwa na taratibu na kanuni bora. Keti anasema kwamba sekta ya ubuni wa ndani ina ukosefu wa utaratibu na kanuni zinazohitajika jambo ambalo linaathiri ufanyikazi wao. Changamoto kwanza eh, kabisa ni mafunzo. Curriculum 
vile zipo kwenye mashule yetu na vile you know what the market requires kuna utofauti kidogo shauna kwa sababu nadhani hizi curriculum wazija kuwa updated over a long period of time hii kazi yetu bado tunaendelea kutafuta regulation yeah tuweze kuwa registered tuweze kuwa na board, a governing body tuko na governing body kwa sasa hivi naitwa IDAC Interior Designers Association of Kenya lakini ile body tunaendelea kuijenga shauna watu ambao wanafanya hii kazi tunaijenga pole pole kwa sasa hivi ile ito, tuseme ni hicho chama kina miaka mitatu it's a very young body shauna so kuna changamoto za kujenga hii body iweze ku regulate kazi yetu kwa sababu watu wengine wanajifanya kwamba wanaweza kufanya hii kazi wakipewa kazi wanashindwa so wanatuaribia the image of the job na kuna wengine wanapewa kazi wamepewa training na yeah wanafanya kazi mzuri so the work of the body itakuwa ni ku regulate kupatiana regulation kwamba huyu ni interior designer namba 002 ni namba this kwa hivyo ukienda kupatiana kazi kuitisha kazi unaulizwa wapi cheti chako yeah yakuonesha kwamba wewe unaweza ukafanya hii kazi. So, hiyo ni changamoto. Changamoto nyingine ni kwamba kawaida ni kama any other business, nothing is predictable. Highs lows wakati siasa zinaendelea, unapata kazi yetu inakuwa affected construction industry in general inakuwa affected kwa hivyo kazi zinakuwa eh, kidogo but hakuna shida. Unajua eh, we have to forge, we have to keep going going forward. Akilinganisha Kenya na nchi zingine, Keti anaona sekta ya ubunifu wa ndani ikiwa vipi? Hapa Kenya, hii industry tuseme ni changa. Nadhani hata East Africa ni changa sana. Ukiangalia wale interior designers waliweza kupata mafunzo mpaka um, wa leo ni about 20 years. Lakini the more time inaendelea, the more watu wanazidi kujua aya kuna watu wanaitwa interior designers and pia mtandao pia ya mtandao umechangia pakubwa sana kujulisha watu kwamba wanahitaji kwa sababu wakiingia Instagram wanaona hoteli na kaa vizuri in other parts of the world uh, so you know they you know wanataka kufanyiwa hizi kazi zikae vile waliona kwenye mtandao shauna so but in general like globally ini sector kubwa sana. Ukiangalia the origin of of this profession was in the 16, you know 1620, 1630 there about. Ilianza kama branch ya architecture. So kutoka kuanzia hapo you know imekuwa ikikua uh, globally. So tukiangalia um, nchi kama uh, United States of America tukiangalia nchi kama Britain, tukiangalia Canada, tukiangalia Australia. Hizo ni nchi nne ambazo eh, hii kazi yetu imeweza ku, ku advance sana. Hapa Afrika tuko na South Africa na tuko na Nigeria, Egypt, Kenya, then the rest. So we are not badly off. Kwa kile biashara kuna mengi utasoma ni yapi ambayo Keti amejifunza tangu aanzishe hii kampuni? Hii ndio biashara yangu ya kwanza, ushaona. So, kuanzisha biashara that the process of starting a business is, is not an easy process. Kwa hivyo, naweza sema nimejifunza vile mtu anaweza kuanzisha biashara. Vile unaweza unaenda kwa AG inakuwa registered eh, you know, unapata kazi ya kwanza vile una prioritize uh, where you're going to take the money vile unalipwa whether you're going to utanua uh, assets ama uta nunua flossets kitu kingine ambacho nimejifunza ni kutafuta the right talent yeah? kutafuta the right people to do the job yeah? kwa sababu kazi yetu ni ni ya professionals it's a professional job so you have to get professionals kingine ni kwamba You, you have to relate with people very well um, every day of your life uh, you also have to be very humble kila kampuni ina maono 
ya A plus interiors ni yapi? A plus interiors uh, vision yetu ni kwamba in the next five years tukue na big market share in in our industry. By the time to figure the tenth year, to not talk about two na branches, uh, katika at least three or four counties in our country. No, no. To not talk other sister companies, ambazo zina support kazi ambayo tunafanya. Tunafanya kazi na contractor, ma sorovea wa kiwango. Tunafanya kazi vile nilivyo sema na architects. Tutaka pia tuwe na partners kwa upande wa eh, architecture, eh, quantity survey, you know going forward. By the time tuko 10 years, tutaka kuwe a group of companies mbao inafanya kazi za ujenzi. Kieti ana ushauri upi kwa wale ambao wanatamani kufanya kazi ya ubuni wa ndani? Pata mafunzo, tuseme. Whether diploma, whether, dig, you know, like uh, shahada, upate shahada, ukuitimu shahada ama ukue apprentice kufanya kazi chini ya mjuzi mtu ambaye anajua hii kazi lazima uipatie muda uizoe ujue kutumia tools um, ambazo tunatumia softwares ambazo tunatumia ujue vile materials um, zina relate materials ni gani it, it takes time kingine ni passion lazima ukue driven lazima ukue na ile drive unataka kufanya hii kazi isi kazi ambayo unaweza kuijua kwa mwaka mmoja wala si kazi ambayo unaweza kuijua kwa miaka miwili kwa sababu mimi nimekuwa nikifanya hii kazi kwa miaka saba sasa hivi na every day of, of my life napatana na, 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 na kitu kitu kipya najifunza kitu kipya tuko mitandaoni tuseme like all social media platforms tuko facebook a plus interiors Instagram A+ plus interiors uh, Twitter A+ plus interiors tuko na website www.aplusinteriors.design tuko Vision Plaza hapa mali tuko Mombasa Road 5th floor room number 40 hapo ndio tupo na namba yetu ya simu utapata kwenye kwenye website kwenye mtandao na utaweza kutupigia simu